guys, welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACOTS. It's Jason here. Well, obviously, hunting season has started here in Oak Mountain in New Brunswick. Uh, it's upland game bird season right now. We're two weeks away from deer season, and we've got to get a ground blind set up in this field. Stick around. Okay guys, so Karen and Ranger are headed down through the field. Now this isn't a big field by any stretch of the imagination. If this was 60 to 70 meters long, I'd be surprised. And it's no more than 20 to 30 meters wide. But these little strip fields are what we have the most luck with here in Oak Mountain. Now why Karen is walking down through the field is I wanted to show you guys that the field has an incline to it or a decline from here. So Karen's waving her hands and we can't see her and that's gonna be a problem if we're sitting up here in a ground blind. So the first order of business is gonna to be to take the Komatsu WB150PS backhoe and we're going to clean off the top of uh, this berm and we're gonna build it up so that we can get that ground blind up in the air about six feet. That's gonna give us enough uh, elevation so that we can look down across this field of oats. Let's get at it. Okay guys, so that only took us about 10 minutes to level a bench off here. I tried to make some steps too, I don't know how that's going to work out, let's check it out here. When you come up to these things with your rifle, you really don't want anything that could trip you up. Um, safety first, right? Oh, pretty nice job if I do say so myself. Alright, now I can see down to the bottom of the field really well. I'm going to get Karen to walk down again and we're going to see if we can see her all the way down to the bottom of the field. So the ground blind, you're sitting down in it. I'm kind of kneeled down right now on this berm. There goes Karen and Ranger. Now we'll see if we can see them all the way down to the bottom. Hopefully we can. These ground blinds that we've purchased at a big box store, you can put a lawn chair right inside of them. They're pretty cozy. So uh, I probably would be up another six inches from where I'm sitting right now. So we can still see Karen pretty well. As she gets down there further though, that would be a difficult shot because I would say right there is about the best that we could uh, we could hope for. But we can still see her all the way to the bottom, so that's good. 
So I think this is gonna be great. Okay guys, so uh, we've got the ground blind here. Logan's here to help me set it up. This is a hub style ground blind. Um, basically it's a big it's a big rectangle, maybe a square, I'm not sure. But uh, it's just like a pop-up tent. So we're gonna get it out and uh, set it up. And then we're gonna tie it down so it doesn't blow away and uh, get it positioned. See how we do. Yeah, you grab your side and I'll grab mine across from me and we can pop it out. You're kind of already popped out, so you gotta hold it your way. Yep. There. Get that other side. Yeah, you grab your out. side and pop it out across from me. There. So we got some cedar shavings to put in. That'll make it quiet when we're sitting in there. And also the smell of the cedar should help cut down on the human scent. Reading good. How's it look in there? All the way to the bottom. You can see all the way to the bottom? I think so, yep. That's good. Is it comfy? Very comfy. Does it smell good? It smells wonderful. Like cedar? Just like cedar. Okay guys, if you like the looks of this uh, hub style ground blind and you want to buy one like it, uh, you can check out the link in the description below our video and uh, it'll take you right to it. You want to put these up about chest high on the tree. I mean, you do what you like, but chest height seems to work for us here. These cameras are about 10 years old now, probably. And uh, I was putting a link to a Bushnell camera in the description below, and I noted that the price is just about the same as what we paid 10 years ago. So I guess Bushnell does a good job with their marketing and, uh, and their price control. This is a small tree. He's probably only about two or three inches in diameter. Normally I look for something that's four inches. You do want to think about people stealing your cameras, but uh, it's been pretty quiet here on our wood lot and I hope it stays that way. But my experience has been that people aren't watching for these and they walk right by them. We've actually uh, had lots of visitors on camera over the last 10 years and uh, they have no clue the camera's here and the only thing that i do is i tie my straps up so that they're not fluttering because that'll catch people's eye right something that's fluttering in the wind uh, generally they'll walk right by them so i'm not too concerned about theft and i know that you can turn some cameras on right on the front now but 
bushnell is pretty slick. You just flip it up, the light shines at you and tells you that it's on. You get so many seconds to get out of the way and it's good to go. Okay guys, so uh, just take a look at these, uh, these green oats. We're two weeks away from deer season starting. Um, you know, if you plant these in the spring, they're going to be yellow by now and uh, hardened off and, and ready to go through a combine or a harvester. But uh, they're still nice and green and lush here right now. The, the first time that we planted these was last year uh, in the middle of the summer for, uh, for a deer season crop. And I was a little bit skeptical about whether it was going to work or not. But what I witnessed was that the deer would come in and they would grab mouthfuls of this stuff and pull. And this is what they were getting with every mouthful was these nice green oats. And uh, I'll tell you, they come in and ate the field down last year from a height of this all the way down to stubble by the time the season was done. So if you're not planting uh, oats middle of July uh, for your deer in the fall, I would highly recommend it. So we got the ground blind all set up and uh, I think it's going to be a, a nice little spot, a little prover, and I uh, hope that there's a big buck that comes out here this fall. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. But like we say, guys, if you like our videos and you want to see more of them, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share our videos with your friends and family and help us grow our channel. And come on back and check on us often because you never know what the Oak Mountain ACOTs are going to be up to next. We'll see you in the next one, guys.